Hello Scouts, it's Mr. Kugler, and today we're going to do a campfire favorite, s'mores. But s'mores can tend to be a little messy. So I'm going to show you a trick making s'mores using a pie iron. This is the Rome square pie iron. And we're going to use marshmallows and we're going to use chocolate. But I think when you get done eating this, your hands aren't going to be covered in chocolate. And uh, you're not going to have to mess around with a stick over the fire and risk burning your marshmallows. So let's get started on this quick and easy pie iron treat. Our pie iron treat of s'mores includes everything you would expect and a little bit more. So it includes the marshmallows. This time we're using mini marshmallows. You wouldn't want to try to put those on a stick. Instead of a Hershey's bar or a chocolate bar, we're going to use some mini uh, semi-sweet uh, chocolate chips. And we're going to, of course, have a graham cracker in there because it wouldn't be a s'more without that. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this or have it enveloped by two slices of white sandwich bread. That soft bread that fits perfectly in this square pie iron. We're going to need a little bit of nonstick spray to coat the inside of our pie iron. We certainly could uh, put on some, some mayo. Uh, that would help certainly too, but today we're going to use some nonstick spray. Uh, so let's get started, and hopefully I'll remember to do it this time, but I've got some confectionery sugar to put on the outside uh, when we're done. So I've got all my ingredients ready to go, and I'm going to start with the pie iron, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to give the insides just a quick spray with this nonstick Pam spray. And then I'm going to put one of my pieces of bread in the pie iron. I'm going to put my marshmallows in there. And I want to try to keep them away from the edge just a little bit so that when I squeeze down on this pie iron, maybe it'll crimp down a little bit on it. And Put some chocolate chips on this. Get a couple of those that try getting away <laughs> back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my graham cracker right on top. Now I suppose I could have put a graham cracker on the bottom too. I'm just thinking with all that bread, that'll be perfect. So now I have put my other slice of bread on the top. I'm going to come down. I'm going to snap my clip in. Now I do have a little bit of bread sticking out and I could just very carefully get that off with a knife. And now what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put this in the, on some coals. But notice I'm not going to put it directly on the flames. I'm just going to put it off on the side here on some coals that I've dragged off to the side. And this is the first time I'm using this pie iron today. So it is at air temperature. It's not very hot, uh, but the second and third time, because you know you're going to want some more uh, that you use this pie iron, it's going to be preheated and it'll cook faster. One of the key things to do with your pie iron is make sure that you flip it periodically uh, to make sure that it doesn't overheat and uh, burn uh, that bread on the outside. What we're trying to do is we're trying to melt that chocolate. We're trying to make those midi marshmallows nice and gooey. Uh, and then just nicely toast. So it looks kind of like one of those toasted cheese sandwiches on the outside of this. So we'll give this a couple minutes. It's not going to take long and we'll have a delicious pie iron some more. When you're checking your pie iron, unlike a cast iron Dutch oven where you open it up and all your heat comes out, you don't really have to worry about that with a pie iron because think about your sandwiches totally filling up that space or in this case are some more. So I can come down release the little clip and be able to lift up and look and see how well that pie iron treat is doing and make sure that I'm not burning it. I can flip it over and do the same on the other side as well. So scouts, it's a moment we've been waiting for. It's time for some some more. And uh, I took a peek at this, it's doing well. Let's hope I didn't wait too long as I got ready for the camera shot. But look at that bad boy, that nice s'more. See how our other side is? Oh, perfect. 
Let's uh, do the big reveal. Oh, but before we do that, we got to give it some powdered sugar. It is a little warm. Oh, look at that. Oh, that chocolate is melted. The marshmallows are gooey. And we're ready for our some more and probably some more after that. So I hope this has inspired you to get out there. Try some of these pie irons, uh, whether it's the square or the round. Get out, have some fun. There's a ton of different recipes you can do. Get out by the campfire with your patrol and your troop and have some fun making pie iron treats and enjoy your scouting experience.